Welcome to episode two, Mini Charging. My name is Ede Weirat and I want to give you some insights about charging. Charging the minis, how long does it take? How does the electricity get into a high voltage uh, battery? And also what can you do, what can we do to have the best possible range while driving with an electric mini? Well, uh, the first question is, it would be very nice if a striking flashlight would charge up the Mini within a fraction of a second, but unfortunately this is still not working. It was just working in Back to the Future sometime uh, in the movie. And now we have a look at uh, the two possibilities in generally when we talk about charging a car, a Mini or a BMW. Um, you can split this up in home charging, anything that happens back at your house or obviously also at work. And then also public charging where you do not own the charging device, but you plug in and pay for it. That's the two versions. Um, and the first one, which mainly happens on people that have an electric vehicle because the car stationary overnight is home charging. So. Let's get started. On the last episode, I was telling you about the cables. There is one phase cables and three phase cables. Remember that? So you can see it on the left side, three wires or five wires. Remember, one wire average was 10 amps, right? 230 volts. So what you get is 2.3 kilowatts. Remember, kilowatts is the work that's going to be done. So one hour on that landline, you would add up 2.3 kilowatt hours to the battery. As easy as that. If you have a three phase cable, you've got a 16 amp fuse. Remember that from last time? So 230 volts, 16 amps ends up with 3.7 kilowatts per phase. You've got three of them, so actually your performance is 11 kilowatts.